Right, I'm just going to turn that in a different way. So it's just facing me a little bit, so that I just want to lean to, towards me. Okay, spoon carving. So when you, whenever you're ready, um, yep. you can put the film on. Yeah, it's on. Oh, okay. Right, I'm on the clock. So I'm just going to tidy that up a wee bit more like that. And then start. Right, the first thing I do is uh, introduce a bowl. So I don't draw spoons, don't have to. So at this point, we can measure all this later on. Or whatever, I'll give you a blank, I'll give you this spoon to take with you. But from about there, I mean, feather cut in, which I told you how to do yesterday. So, you're making a cut and then running the axe in the same cut until you come to a natural stop at the bottom here. And what that does is it, uh, I have to use a pen, I can't see where the pencil is. Uh, you were it lucky I did, didn't I? <laughs> what it does is if you run those feathers in, you end up with a line, a natural stop line that heads into here. What we do is put another line in in a minute, up here, and that gives us the bowl, B for bowl, yeah. and the handle, H for handle. Okay, I'll do the other side now. Now, thing of it is with this system I might not have made the first strike in the right place but I can balance balance it up in a little while so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Right, and what I should have done of course is sat it down because I'm too busy talking and thinking and just chop that off like that. Do that first then you'd start the other side. So I need this neck to be a little narrower, so I'm just going to have at it with the axe again and just shave it down a wee bit more, take him off, like that, so nice and clean, a wee bit the other side, and that's about as narrow as you want to go-ish, mm -hmm. okay, it is a bit-ish. So everything else we take off with a knife. Just going to balance it up a little bit, like that. That's about that's about good to go. It's a bit wonky on the back, but it doesn't matter. We'll sort that out with a knife in a little bit. Okay. Then we take the bowl out. And this is the same principle as, as uh, taking the bowl out with the cookser. So it's cut in with the axe, raise the axe a little bit, and then follow down to the first cut. Okay. So all the way down to that first cut. Spring him open a little bit. Hope you can see that on the camera. Shave him down again. Down to the first. So it's all heading down to the centre of the bowl again. Okay. Now we've got a little little set of feathers that terminate <coughs> in the centre of the bowl. Then you have to move your seat a wee bit and do a slightly different stance so you've got your knee against the stump the work away from uh, facing away from you your leg out at three o'clock here and then with this part of the axe here we're going to we're going to knife through and with the, I hope you can see that mm -hmm. just right. knife yep. through and cut him off so nice solid stance <clears throat> taking care not to not to push the axe don't push the axe forward mm -hmm. Just let the axe drop up and down nice nice and safely. You might have to turn the work a little bit like that. Okay, a little tappy tap tap. And just carefully remove the centre piece of wood there. Right, so that now gives you the bowl. Mm, if yeah. I get if I get another spoon. <clears throat> so now we've got that profile sorted pretty well. And now we've got that profile on the bowl sorted mm -hmm. pretty well. Now we need to remove wood here, which is this part, okay, the back of the handle. <coughs> and we do that quite simply from the centre of the bowl, axe through, 
the axe will catch the back of the handle, stand him up mm. and drop him through. Okay, I uh -huh. hope you can focus on that. That's what it looks like. Middle of the middle of the bowl, take the back of the bowl out and axe through. So you've got a triangle. Okay? Right. Mm. From this point here, the transition, the transition between handle and bowl, you, you pop the axe in and just let the axe drift down and the eye will drop carefully, it'll drop as you're, as you're carefully, you don't want to overhold it, just let the eye drop a bit, which pushes the blade out, which gives you a curve. Mm. I hope you can see that, but there's a wee mm -hmm. curve starting to form there. Just drop down a little bit more, a little bit more. Just finish that bottom bit off and you'll end up with a nice curve to the back of the handle. Have a look at the back of the handle, see how you're faring. Level it up a wee bit. That's not too bad. This is all going to get cleaned up with the knife in a moment. So we're getting there now. We've got <clears throat> we've got a nice uh, handle going on. We've got uh, the crank in the bowl, and now we've just got to take the front of this block of wood out to bring the front of the bowl up to mm -hmm. give the bowl a curve. All right. So from the middle forward, take that corner off. From the middle forward. Take that corner off and then from the center start start axing in get a little groove going and then drop the left hand drop it drop it drop it and there we are we've got a start of a curve okay and there's your blank so that's what you start with so now I can get the get a knife out so we have this and we have this, mm -hmm. which fits into the wood, or would have fitted into the wood originally. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see that. Mm -hmm. Make that out. Would have fitted in like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So now I can get a I can get a knife <clears throat> and um, and actually carve the spoon out. So oh, I've got it on me. So, here we go. One knife. There we go. Little carving knife. 